Hello everyone, welcome back. I wanted to show you two new orchid acquisitions that I actually just got today. And these used to be my mom's, uh, but she has decided to start getting more of the Phalaenopsis hybrids because they do exceedingly well at her house. I think they get just enough light and the perfect temperature change or temperature drop in the winter time to bloom. So uh, she's going to fill her growing space with more of those and less of other types of orchids. She also has a lot of um, African violets that she'd like to have in her growing space. But anyways, uh, she has um, some orchids that she's acquired at like shows and meetings and stuff like that. And she said I could grab whatever I wanted, so I picked these two up. I didn't say no. Uh, on the left here, we have an Encyclia orchid. This one is Encyclia alata. It's a really pretty colorful orchid. And I know Encyclias generally smell pretty good. I don't remember exactly how that one smelled, but I'm guessing it's a nice sweet smell or a sweet spicy smell, although I could be wrong. Um, and I did notice actually, like she, she's the kind of person who neglects her orchids, but generally if they're like, uh, they don't need too much water, like in Cichlias, um, they do pretty well. And as you can see, there is, I hope you can see, there's a spike starting down there. I just noticed that uh, about five minutes ago. And I am hoping that one uh, continues to grow because it's quite cold where I am right now and I hope it didn't get um, aggravated by the trip over here. It wasn't very far or very long, but uh, I would hate for that spike to stop, stop growing, so fingers crossed. These orchids, you can see, um, they're a bit damaged because she was taking care of a cat and the cat had a taste for orchids. And it looked too much on these guys, so I'm going to have to clean these guys up a bit. But that's where these came from. Not fung fungal related or anything like that. This is this is a uh, from a cat. <laughs> so that is Encyclia elata. And then on the right here is another um, Maxillaria tenifolia. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I have a monster Maxillaria tenifolia that just keeps getting bigger. Uh, this one is a lot smaller and more compact, so it will be nice to um, fit in a smaller space. And you can see it's already bloomed. It's got the old uh, flowers right here. Uh, really, really good smelling orchid. Um, I think she hasn't been watering it very well though. I noticed that some of the new growths are a little bit smaller than the old old ones so we'll see what I can do with that. Just gonna have to put it in a really sunny spot. Same with uh, the Encyclia. Here's uh, the tag for this one. It is Maxillaria tenifolia Mother's Day? Haven't heard of that variety but I've seen this one in bloom before, it's really nice. Uh, pretty much the same flowers as my my one that uh, blooms whenever it wants to. <laughs> and just for fun, here's a bit of a size comparison between the two Maxillaria tenifolias. So here's the one in the front that I just showed you, the one from my mom's. This is this guy, and then behind it, um, I can barely fit it on the table is the bigger Maxillaria tenifolia that I've had for years. Um, as you can see, it's kind of growing off to the left here because I think that's, it's because that's the direction the sun was. So uh, I didn't really notice it, but it's, it's really like heavy on that side and not as heavy on this side. So I've tried switching it around so that this side is getting more sun and we'll see how that works. But anyways, you can see the size comparison here. And there's also quite a bit of a color difference. This one is lighter, which generally means it gets more sun, but not necessarily. Uh, these, my window um, faces the same direction as my mom's window, so not too much of a difference in sun exposure. But yeah, quite a light orchid and a darker orchid right here. And if you take a look at the bulbs, it's really hard to like show you but like see, um, 
the bulbs like beside my finger here compared to beside my finger right here. So yeah, quite a bit bigger bulbs on the bigger Max Lariat Tenifolia. I don't know why that is. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's a different variety or it's just, just because it's a bigger orchid. I'm not quite sure. I remember when this one was uh, smaller, it, um, it still had quite big bulbs. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see any more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.